Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCNP certified instructor. On this video, I'm going to tell you the new big announcement made by Cisco. Well, they had the conference Cisco Live in San Diego between June 9 and June 13. Today is June 14, so I'll wait until it's all finished and I'm going to tell you the exact changes. They announced the big Cisco next level certification as of 24th of February 2020. So the content of this video is going to be about what were these changes. So new Cisco next level certification. What are the big major changes, which is it is big out of my career. I, we had some big changes, but this tops tops a lot. Um, for example, we had nine different CCNA tracks, i.e. CCNA security, CCNA routing and switching, CCNA cyber ops, wireless, so on. They all been changed and consolidated into one CCNA exam, which is good because it saves us money and we don't have to do so many like 16, 17 exams. We can just do one and we are CCNA qualified. Hey, great. We talk a bit more about that. Then we're going to move on to brand new specialist level. So as you're going through to get your CCNA exam, uh, sorry, as you move and you get through to get the CCMP exam, um, now you need two exams. So once you finish the first exam, the CCNA uh, or Cisco rewards you with a specialist level certification, which is good. Something between the CCNA and CCMP. Then we talk about that we need two exams for to be qualified as CCNP. Uh, we're going to need one core exam of your choice and one concentration exam, but they have to be on the same track. So we need to go through the same track. And big news is that we don't really need any prerequisites to go for the CCMP. We can go, we don't have to have the CCNA. We can go directly to the CCMP. Great. Brand new exam called Cisco Certified Technician or CCAT, CCT. This is the uh, entry level. And then we're going to be talking about the new certification. They are very, very excited. And it's great thing about software dev application developers or DevNet. This is the path for people who want to write applications, who are who want coding. Great. And then the last section is about CC, CCIE changes. Now this I put brief because if you are a CCIE candidate or if you are a CCIE, you should know this stuff already. You shouldn't be watching it from my video. Anyway, I'll put it to, to make it complete. Okay, so on the 10th of June 2019, Cisco has announced some major changes in network certification. And this is a big change. This is a major change. Anyway, I'll try and explain it as good as I can. But it's all confirmed and no, no uh, guesswork here. So Cisco, they did feel that this change was necessary to maintain this certification path with current market demand and learner preferences. So... I get lots of questions now from my students. They they already asking me, oh, what happens to me? I'm already studying for my CCNA and should I stop or what do I? No, don't stop. Just continue learning. If you want to take the exam with the current topics, please do it before the 23rd of February. Now, oh, you can do it on 23rd of February as well if you want. That's the last day. What happens if you already have SCND1? You already taken that exam and what do I do? Is that going to be converted or no? If you have ICND1, please do ICND2 as soon as possible or before 23rd of February to get your CCNA qualification. If you get the CCNA qualification, you will get the new badge valid for three years, same as it all used to be. Um, now, the topics are already online for the new CCNA, but if you are already studying for CCNA, do not stop. Just continue studying and pass the exam as usual. We still have nearly eight months of, you know, transitioning period. Yeah. So the training courses, people are already put in the training courses out there. The topics are online. You can find it. You can make your training course. But Cisco themselves, they, they starting to issue the materials as of 2019 June. So this month. Anyway, this big change. So exam, new Cisco exam or new CCNA certification exam will be 20301 and it will replace all of the following CCNA certification, i.e. CCNA routing and switching, security, cyber ops, collaboration, cloud, wireless, data center, service provider and industrial. That's so many different CCNA exams. 
it used to be. Imagine taking all these exams. So that's why people didn't go for all these exams. So Cisco said, okay, well, get rid of all of them. Just make one CCNA exam. Anyway, you had to learn about 16 books to get all these certification before. Now you need to re read one book. Either that book is going to be a massive giant book or kind of like they just took the, the, the basic stuff from each course and they made one course. So they kind of like watered it down really. The hard stuff that you're already learning on CCNA is moving to the CCMP. So you should be able to, if you're already learning CCNA, you should be able to go direct to the CCMP. Take or take the CCNA exam and then move on to CCMP very quickly or specialist level. Anyway, the new CCNA exam will have 80% networking topics and 20% there will be programming topics. So a mixture of both. And um, one comprehensive exam that covers the entry level networking. Like I said before, the exam topics are available already for the new exam topics are already available in Cisco website. And then we have a new specialist level. This is between the CCNA, something between CCNA and CCMP. So like we said before, there is no CCNA prerequisites or there is no prerequisite to take any new CCMP exam or Cisco exam. You can go directly to CCMP without having the CCNA certified. Great thing. If you're already in that level, why do you need CCNA? Just go straight to the CCMP. But to get the CCMP certified, you do need two exams. You need a core exam and you need a concentration exam. Now, there's, there are five tracks for each one. For, so if you take a one core exam, for example, enterprise track, you do need one concentration exam from the enterprise track to be the CCMP qualified. So you can't mix and match. You'll get to see them very soon. But you don't need to take, you don't need to take them in the order. So you can take the concentration exam first and then the core exam. But I, it will be the best if you take the core exam first and then the concentration exam. So there is five core exams or core certification. So once you pass the core certification, you'll get the specialist certified. You'll, you will be specialist certified. So we have five core certification enterprise, service provider, data center, security and collaboration. So 401 N core, 501 SP core, 601 DC core for data center, 701 security core and 801 CL core. So 401, 501, 601, 701, 801. 301 was the CCNA, yeah? So if I go back here, 200, 301, it was your CCNA. And then we have the 401, 501s, and so on. So every enterprise exam, if you take the core enterprise, this is the old routine and switching, 401. Now, your concentration exam has to be starting with 4, like 410, 415, 420, or whatever. But it has to start with 4. So to be the CCMP qualified. Now for concentration exams, we have again, five concentration exams and then enterprise has got five options that you can choose from like 410, advanced infrastructure implementation, 415, 420, 425 or 430. You have two service provider exams, so 500s, four a data center exam, these are with 600s, security with the 700 starts in uh, five of them and then we have a collaboration with three. They're starting with 800. So 810, 815, and then 820. The brand new Cisco certified technician or entry level. It is used for technicians who can diagnose, restore, replace, repair and replace networks or Cisco network and system devices at customer sites. So this is more about field engineer. Entry level to become the field engineer. There is two paths that you can take. You can take the data center. That talks about the NX OS, or you can go for routing and switching. That's what gives you the entry level, something before CCNA. Brand new certification. This is software application developer, DevNet. This is for people who want to write application or learn and use coding. Now they are separate to the network engineer path. So they can use either go this or you go for software, software developer. You don't, they don't need to be mixed and match. So you can just go to be a software developer. So Cisco has taken the path to training and testing new candidates as software developers. 
you can choose only that path independent of the networking path so this exam because it's new it will be available just or it will go live on february 24 to 2020 so devnet course will train candidates in network automation devops and webex the ccie changes in brief um, to become the ccie certified you do need to pass one core exam and the corresponding lab exam the core exam, it is the same in both CCNP and CCIE. Uh, it is considered as an old written CCIE exam. But you can't mix and match. You have to do the core first and then do the lab. So you can't do the lab and then the core. First is the core. Lab, it's as hard as the L where it used to be. It is divided into two sections. It's eight hour lab, three hours to design and five hours to deploy. Anyone who's active CCIE, they they will suspended year will be transferred or converted to an active year and now the ccie they need to recertify every three years thank you for watching this video and i hope it made it cleared some of the changes i'm sure you're going to have loads and lots of questions um please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe this has been Nasir krasnichi bye bye